All right, everyone, so we're going to begin working on our landscape drawing based on the illustrations we saw in Oxcart Man. So there's some things we already know to do in a landscape, and there's some things that we can look at the artist, Barbara Cooney, to learn from. So you guys already know how to do a horizon line, so I went ahead and put that in there. But things that I noticed in some of the illustrations in the book, there's the horizon line, but it seems like things sticking up from behind the horizon line, things that are even further away. So that's something I can kind of borrow as one of her ideas that maybe I can put into my own artwork. So maybe I have a hill that comes up above the horizon line there. Maybe I have one here. Maybe I stop there and I use a little bit of what's called overlap, which we've talked about before, to put that in there as well. So we want to think about things we could put in the drawing, things we should put in the drawing. So in the story of Oxcart Man, of course he passed through things that were outside so a tree in my landscape, that would not look out of place. He was walking by, he went outside. I'm sure he saw a few trees. But then if I'm gonna start telling the story, I wanna think about the road that he traveled on when he went to Portsmouth. So when I look here, I see this road coming towards us. It gets bigger when it's close to us, but it seems to get smaller the more that it goes away into the background. So that's something we can definitely learn by looking at these illustrations. So we've used size before, so I'm going to use size on something that starts close to me. So maybe the road starts here, and then it winds away. It sort of disappears over that horizon line. So this part, this should be getting more narrow as it goes away. So it goes over the horizon line, we can't see it anymore. But if it came up over this hill, and it wound through that part of the landscape, then we'd be able to see it going away from us there. But then maybe it goes over this hill and it continues over this one. So it should be getting even smaller as it does that. And then it comes up over this hill and it just disappears. It almost looks like the two sides are going to touch because it's so close together, so far away. So I have the effect in my landscape that he's got this long road to travel on. It said he walked for 10 days. All right, so you're adding some things into your landscape drawing that you remember from the story. Think about using size and placement as well as overlap to get these effects.